You know, something just occurred to me. I'd be much more popular on YouTube if I knew how to hack into Dominion voting machines. Now, he looks like a blue lace red wine dot, doesn't he? But he has feathered feet. Run, boy, run! His daddy was a Wheaton Marins. His mother was a blue lace red wine dot. That is uh, the red neck and neck rooster. And then over there, those frizzles have the same mother as that Marin's mix. But their daddy was a frizzled Polish. They all hatched together at the same time. And these two, they need to go live somewhere else. I live the new lights in here. I've got um, kind of a artistic looking face now with the shadows. See the shadows? You're supposed to have a shadow there. I've been watching all the tutorials on YouTube of how to light and how to do backgrounds and stuff of that nature. I doubt I'll ever get into fancy editing or anything like that. I was talking to my friend Rose, you know, that holds some roots. She's just moved her homestead, her farm, her home. And she suggested that we should move and I would love that. I would love to have 20 or 30 acres somewhere and just have a nice big animal refuge. Um, you know, moving is trending on YouTube for homesteaders. You know, uh, the Big Family Homestead has recently moved, as has SSL Family Dad. Uh, the uh, Lumna Acres, they bought a new tract of land that they're developing. Uh, Bigfoot Farmer is moving. Bobblehead Homestead is moving. Jess at Roots and Refuge has talked about moving. Lots of people are moving. I would love to move. But could you imagine me trying to move all these animals, all of these birds? It would be a nightmare. By doing it in a heartbeat if the opportunity ever were to arise. How you like those doves back there? Those are Catherine's pet doves. They are just domestic ringneck doves. You know, I really don't like that word just. Just kind of demeans the, the, the creature or the person, you know, to say that I'm just a nurse or I'm just, I just work here. You know, no, you're not just a nurse and you don't just work here. You're, you're not just a bus driver. You, you are the best bus driver in the world. You are the best stay at home dad in the world. Do your very best. All those birds down there, they hear my voice and they're hungry, so I better go feed them. I don't like the word just. Just domestic ringneck. Those are the most beautiful domestic ringneck doves that we keep. Aren't they? We're stringing up more of these. Well, I think they're outdoor patio party lights. And we're putting them in the tops of the aviary here. It's so smooth. The light bulb? Yeah, quit playing with it, baby. Why? We've had lights in here, but we're just adding more to it. Don't do that. We have to hang these up to the ceiling. No. I'm thinking giant magnets with hooks on them. Yeah. Neodymium. Yeah, the song is magnetic. Okay. What do you think? You think it'll work? Yes. All right. Wait, did you know that two magnets, two neodymium magnets go together? They can actually break from their impulse back. And... Hmm? You watch too much YouTube. Need to go to the store and get those magnets. Catherine's really excited about neobedibilium magnets or however you pronounce that. You see my fight silk out there? I have learned to keep my feather footed bantams up in coops and hutches up off the ground. They um, just get too much mud and stuff stuck on them. I need to clean the glass on that door, don't I? I'm just a, it's just a random ra ramble today. 
I better go feed those macaws. I fed all the birds inside. And therefore the cockatoos are. That's, that's the inside. I'll come out here for the macaws. I know they are undercover. But it is raining on me. Where's the other one? There he is. I got my friend behind me. There she is. There are. Uh, They're going to try to kill me soon. I think it would be best if you and them died. Why? Because it's raining. Oh, uh, you just don't want me to tell you to clean anything. No. Yeah. I don't even get soaked. My dad could do someone playing music. Well, I'm almost through. Okay. okay. What you got, baby? Yes, dear. Inside the house? Yes. Why would you want to do that? It's not that cold. I don't want to go and mess around with us. Well, stay outside a little while. Okay, it is. It is. It is 59 degrees. Okay. Okay. I tell you what, y'all go feed the goats and rabbits, and when you're done with that, then you can go inside. Okay. Yay! Y'all didn't know I was such a mean daddy, did you? I make these kids do actual work. They actually do the bulk of the work feeding the animals. I have it divided up into zones, and each of them have a different zone. Now, I come out every day. Um, but each of them have a different zone that they feed each day, and we alternate the zones so that one kid's not doing the same thing every single day. And then once I'm finished with what I'm doing, I go back and I check and make sure that all the birds are fed and that the automatic waterers are working. And that way we know that everything is done and being done correctly. Now, I pay these kids. I pay Jeremiah and Catherine. Jonathan, he has his own job. He works 50 and 60 hours a week at that feed store. And Daniel, bless his heart, he won't come out of the house. He's too, too scared of the coronavirus. Um, so he doesn't come out. So he doesn't get paid. But I pay the two little kids $20 a piece each week for helping with the animals. So I don't feel bad at all about asking them to help. Since it is kind of a family business and I am earning a little bit of money from the sale of baby birds, I do share that with them. So do you pay your kids to do chores? Do they get an allowance? I never got an allowance as a kid. I had to do things just for free just because I was eating supper every night. And you know, our kids, they have, they have household chores that they do and that doesn't count towards them earning the money. You know, the, the $20 a week, that's more like a job. They still have to take out trash and help with dishes and help with clothes and, you know, keeping their bedrooms clean and sleeping floors. They, they still do all that. And I don't guess they get an allowance for that, but I do pay them for helping outside with the chores, with the feeding the animals, that sort of thing. I just changed their water bowl about 10 minutes ago. My Spark Horner chickerlings are growing up. They have actually rubbed the red paint off of that big heat bulb. And so it's mostly bright white. 
And that's okay. It still produces heat. It helps to keep this whole building warm. You can see that one in the back has the crest. That's the little silky back there. Just shook his head. There he is again. Beautiful little birds, aren't they? I guess I have a lot on my mind today. They're, you know, the world's still in turmoil. We don't know what's going to happen. But there's one thing that we do know, that none of this took God by surprise. He is still seated on his throne high above the heavens. His ears are not deaf so that he can't hear our cries. His arms are not so short that he can't reach down and touch us. He loves us. And I love you also. God bless you. Bye-bye. I'm in the way, the bright and shining way. I'm in the glory land way. Telling the world that Jesus saves today. I'm in the glory land way.